The characteristics of the different HBS screws and the freehand instrumentation provide excellent options for the minimal invasive treatment of acute scaphoid fractures. The high compression screw enables secure fixation of the inserted cancellous bone block for effective treatment of sued arthrosis. Tiny fragments can be fixed with the HBS mini screw. Two different sets are available. The HBS standard set with the cannulated screws and the HBS mini set. The HBS standard set includes two different screw types. The HBS screw with the standard compression and the HBS screw with the high compression. The high compression screw achieves approximately 35% higher compression due to the different pitch of the thread. Both screws are cannulated for a 1 mm K wire and are available in lengths from 10 to 30 mm in 1 mm graduation. Each thread of the screw has two cuts to facilitate the insertion of the screw. Both have a shaft diameter of 2.2 mm. The HBS standard screw is mainly used for acute fractures, whereas the high compression screw is primarily used for non-unions, since it's necessary to achieve compression on both bone surfaces of the inserted bone block. All screws have a self-retaining T-drive screw head. The conical star-shaped screw head design enables optimal transmission of forces through maximum surface contact and prevents stripping of the inner screw head. The drill guide is fixed in the guiding handle. The recess leaves sufficient space for the trapezium, which lies distally. The reduction sleeve is inserted through the drill guide. The instrument is positioned on the distal pole of the scaphoid. The parallel holes in the guiding handle can be used to insert further fixation K wires in order to prevent fragment rotation. This feature enables fixation of reduced fragments in an acute fracture or cancellous bone block in non-union cases. An optional soft tissue sleeve facilitates the insertion of the guide wire. This is extremely helpful for the minimal invasive technique. The guide wire is inserted through the reduction sleeve under X-ray control until it reaches the opposite cortex. The measuring sleeve is then placed over the K-wire until it touches the reduction sleeve. The tip of the drill guide must remain firmly applied to the surface of the bone so as to ensure accurate length measurement. Otherwise, two millimeters need to be deducted from the measured length. The knurled nut is opened up and pushed to the correct length. The set length is the last number to be seen on the scale after closure of the knurled nut. The drill can then be inserted with a motor. The length should be checked with an image intensifier after drilling, while the drill is still inserted in the scaphoid. The appropriate screw is then implanted over the guide wire. The screwdriver is removed half a centimeter before the handle touches the drill guide and the guide wire is taken out. This prevents the tip being cut off. The screw should be embedded completely in the bone. 